Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hey there, Tony Policastro here from The Acoustic Letter. Today we have a very interesting comparison for you to enjoy. But before we do so, I want you to click on the link below and see what some of our current subscribers are saying about The Acoustic Letter. If you like what they have to say, go ahead and sign up. You'll be very happy that you did. On to answer, maybe answer, an age-old question, does a cutaway affect sound? Well, today we'll hopefully give a little insight as to what a cutaway indeed does to the sound because what I am holding are two identical instruments. No, I know they look a little bit different. Let me give you the rundown and then I'll explain what we're gonna do. I have two Songwriter Deluxe Studios made by the folks at Gibson. One of them, in my left hand, has a vintage sunburst and no cutaway, and the other one is pure natural but does have a cutaway. Other than that, these guitars are completely identical. Sitka spruce top, advanced X bracing. We have a just shy of a one and three quarter inch tusk nut, tusk saddle, rosewood bridge, rosewood fingerboard, split parallelogram inlay, rosewood back and sides. You name it, in the guts of these guitars, they are identical, but one has a cutaway and one does not. So what we're gonna do is play these guitars back to back so you can be the judge of does a cutaway affect sound? Let's give them a play. acoustic reviews and comparisons, click the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel.